Romans 1, 11, it says, For I long to see you, that I may impart to you some spiritual gift, so that you may be established. You can be called of God to have a ministry, to preach a certain message, to do a certain work in the kingdom of God. But without the gift, it's hard to truly be established in that work. Even Jesus said, they'll not believe except they see signs and wonders. Even Jesus Christ had to move in signs and wonders in order to have a, a people that would follow him to hear the message. And that's really what a lot of, of uh, what the gifts are about as well. Not only to express God's love, to be able to reveal that he's not dead, he's alive, and he's still moving by his Holy Spirit, but also that it's to establish the message, to endorse the message, if you will. And when you find out what your calling is and you begin to preach that, what God has placed upon your heart, and you have a gift, a supernatural gift of God to endorse that message, then you are solidified. You are established. You have become to a place to where now people will recognize this is who you are and what you do. And it's really hard to separate yourself from that. I know a lot of times people have tried to tell me that, you know, well, first of all, you're Kent Simpson, and then you have a ministry. Well, it's really hard to separate it because it becomes so much of you, and people are looking to you for the gifting, for the word, for direction, for the ministry, that that's who you are. It's like if you're a carpenter, People are always going to come to you when they need something done. They're always going to pick your brain for information on how to make a certain cut, what kind of wood to use, all these different things. Well, it's the same way in your ministry. And probably the biggest hindrance we have in the church today is an identity crisis. The body of Christ do not know who they are. They need to have the identity, and that identity can only be given by the Holy Spirit. In order to know where you fit in the body of Christ. Are you the foot? Are you the hand? Are you the eye? Are you the nose? Well, that's just an analogy. But yet, there is a reason for us to have a designated position in the church. And I know we have different people who appoint people to be janitorial or to be administration or to head up a particular committee. And all those things are necessary. But... What we really need to see happening in the sanctuary, in the house of God, is the move of the power of God. That's what people need to see as the difference between just a club, a group, an organization of people, versus that which is supernatural, something that is truly spiritual, not just the talk, but to see the actual functions of the gifts working in the church. We know that the laying on of hands can easily be identified by the laying on hands to receive healing. We've seen that a lot in the church over the years. People have hands laid upon them, anointed with oil, pray for the sick, and they shall be healed. 